Hi, my name is Dylan, and I'm going to present the work I have done with Pascal Bircher on the complexity of flexible HDM planning. HDM planning has some nice theoretical properties and applications to the real world. It has a rich class of complexity results, with problems ranging from tractable to undecidable. HDM planning is also useful for guiding search for planning with the tools defined. However, we would like to create a strong formalism to deal with uncertainty that is prevalent all over the real world. We have proposed a different formalism already for ICAPS, although it has its share of weaknesses. The formalism we propose here addresses all the weaknesses there, but again has one inevitable drawback. We also propose complexity results as a solid foundation for building the theory of HDM planning with uncertainty, but also as a guide for viewing the expressiveness of the formalism. We will quickly run through the notation we're familiar with for HDM planning before proposing our formalism for this study. The basis of HDM planning can be summarized with tasks and decomposition. A task can be categorized as primitive or compound, the former being equivalent to planning actions, and the latter, which are just names that can be refined into many other tasks. Tasks may also have partial orderings between them, so some tasks must be executed before others. Compound tasks, as we mentioned, can be refined or decomposed by methods. A method expands a compound task into another task network, a set of tasks with a partial order. As we see in this diagram, we have the task network on the left, TN, and a compound task labeled C. A method in the middle describes how C decomposes into another task network. Then if we decompose C with M, we basically replace C with the task network in M to get a new task network, TN prime. Now a solution for HTM planning problem with an initial task network, TNI, is a sequence of refinements into a primitive task network, TNP where TNP has an executable linearization. So a high level description is that we can execute all tasks which can preserve the task order defined in the initial task network. With deterministic HDM planning done, we will describe how our foreign formalism in a very high level. The main source of uncertainty in foreign HDM planning are located in the primitive tasks. Solutions from standard HDM planning no longer make sense now that tasks are non-deterministic. So we now define solutions via policies as canonical in non-deterministic planning in general. The main difference between hierarchical and non-hierarchical planning is that the latter also takes in just a state as input. But here, we take a task network and state tuple as an input. Outputs are also different given that HDM planning is more complex. An output can be one of two instructions. One, we decompose a compound task, or two, we execute a primitive task. The reasoning for this is that after executing a non-deterministic action, we may end up in two different states. And for the next task to be executable, we may have to choose a different method to refine for a compound task. This is what makes our solutions here a bit more flexible, as opposed to the formalism we've provided in ICAPS, where we fix all decompositions at the start. Some questions about our formalism that I've been asked before, and you may have right now are the following. The first is that why do we have the task network in input? The main reason for this is that we may appear in the same state for different task networks if we view execution as progressing a task network. However, we may need to execute different instructions for the different task networks. For example, one task network may need to execute one task, but the second task network may not even have this task for the same state. Another question is, what about making non-deterministic decomposition methods? For example, a method which may decompose into several different task networks non-deterministically. There are two answers for this. The first is a philosophical one, which aligns with the point of planning. Methods are choices made by users, which are usually more deterministic. A more compelling reason is that we can compile away this feature anyway with what we've defined so far, quite easy without any overhead. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we do have some weaknesses with the formalism, as mentioned earlier. Firstly, we require task network isomorphism in an execution to get well-defined solutions. This is hard given that graph isomorphism is not known to be tractable. Secondly, more problems have unbounded solutions or policies. So we may have to generate solutions sequentially and online. Our study also looks at the set of HDM problem subclasses and their complexities. 
In a one sentence summary, we can say that everything is made one class harder. This is a good thing as a mirrors what is known in non-hierarchical planning, where observable planning with uncertainty is also made one class harder. More specifically, planning is piece-based complete, but planning with non-determinism is explained complete. Thus, our formalism here is more expressive, but not too complicated. Proofs can be also be summarized as using and or searches or backward search from a goal for membership and standard alternating Turing machine reductions for hearts. If you're interested in the proofs, we can have a gander at our paper. Thanks so much for your time.